Hi, it's Yogi Cameron here, and is it time that you underachieve in some things? There's a lot of talk about achieving and reaching success, but what about underachieving? We want to underachieve in some, of the, some part of life. So let's go through a few of these, like um, shopping. You want to underachieve in that. That means you won't go spend too much money, you won't spend too much time, and you won't spend too much energy. You know how much time you spend on shopping and going out and doing all these things? So we want a little underachievement in this area. That way it's going to help your energy level. I can tell you, when I step out into a shop, a mall, or I go somewhere, it's not a pretty sight. You know, I lose a lot of energy. And then I'm not motivated at all, and I want to run <laughs> pretty quickly. So I'm very selective about when I go and how much I do these things, because otherwise it becomes a little bit too much. The next part is consuming more. You should underachieve in that as well. The reason is, again, it takes up a lot of energy to consume, right? If you overeat or you overtalk or you overspend, whatever you're consuming more of and you're taking in, uh, that becomes an energy sucker. So you gotta watch out on that too. Don't consume as much as you think. It's kinda like when you look at food, you think you need a lot of it, but you really don't need as much as you're thinking about. So your mind kind of expands and your eyes and senses make you want more, but more isn't always great. Try it. Try it for a while. Do less. I, and I can tell you this from my experience. Do less. Talk less. You know, be less for a moment, because ultimately you're going to do a lot more by doing a lot less. Sounds a little crazy, but it works. Try it out. And then, Talking too much. Talking too much really does a number on the body. It doesn't allow the mind, you know, the mind can't keep up. Because if we're just rattling on and we're just talking about whatever, we don't realize how much energy talking takes. And we at the moment in our society, we're at a place where talk is king. Everybody's talking. It's the main way we communicate. There's many different ways to communicate. We can communicate with energy. We can communicate with a look. We can communicate just by sitting silently together. There is communication in that too. You don't speak to your dog, do you? Your dog doesn't know what you're talking about, but you're definitely communicating. Doesn't speak English, doesn't speak a language, it doesn't know the alphabet. But sure enough, it knows energy and you're exchanging that. Imagine you do that with everybody else and you're aware of it. So we are exchanging energy, but we're usually not aware of it. So put talking aside a little bit and start expanding your energy with people around you without having to always be verbal about it. Because also verbal is very limited. You can only describe things so many times in so many different ways. But you know that one look between two people says so much. So spend your time on that. So a little bit less shopping, a little less consuming, and underachieve, underachieve in speaking too much. And um, you'll see, this underachievement, you know, we'll, we'll start a movement together and we'll start to underachieve in those things that really have no place for us to achieve in. All right, anyway, think about that. I hope you use it. Namaste.